Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. This one relating to topic 5 for both SL and HL students. You have two equations and using this information above, the question says, what is delta H for the equation below? And of course you have this equation here and you have all of these possible answers. Now there are two ways to go about solving this question. One which is very much a mathematical method which if you use it, it doesn't bring in the understanding of Hess's law. And the other way involves a diagram which when you draw that diagram, it does show you the understanding of Hess's law. So the first method that we're going to look at is how you can draw a diagram and apply Hess's law to solve this problem. So here we see this equation, 3O2 gas giving 2O3. So if we write this equation down here, 3O2 to form 2O3. And bearing in mind that this is the equation that we're trying to solve for, O3 gas to give three oxygen atoms, if we have 2O3, then we're going to get 6O over here. And if we have 3O2, then we're multiplying this by 3 because there's O2 giving O. So we're multiplying this by 3 and then we can connect this this way. So this is multiplied by 3 if you notice. 3O2s and 6Os. So what we need to do is to say 498 multiplied by 3. And that comes to 1494 kilojoules. Over here with this transformation, 3O2 giving 2O3, it's 284. Now, according to Hess's law, if you want to solve for this one here, which is the unknown, this energy pathway is going to have the same energy value as if you traveled to these products by going this way and this way. But what we need to bear in mind is if you go in the opposite direction, then the sign must change. So this sign here becomes a negative. This continues in the same direction, so you keep that positive sign. And what you end up having then is 1494 minus 284, which is the sum basically of this plus this. And that comes to 1210 kilojoules. But look at this, 2O3 to give 6O. And what we're trying to solve for, O3 to give 3O. So we've got to get this answer which fills in here and then divide it by two. Doing that would give an answer of 605 and it would confirm that the answer is D. But there's another way to solve this question and it tends to be more popular with students. Although this method brings in the understanding of the very important Hess's law. The other method tends to be a lot easier and easier to apply under the pressure of the examination. So let's take a look at that method now. So using the cancellation method, we have to look at rearranging these equations if necessary so that what's on one side will cancel with what's on the other side. So like what's on this side of this equation can cancel with what's on that side. Provided that they are the same species, they can cancel. And what you want to have standing at the end is this equation. And then you can do some maths and find the answer. But let's take a look. You want to end up with oxygen here as a product. So you want to leave this equation as it is. O2 to give two O's. You want to leave that as it is. But this equation here at the bottom, you want to reverse that because you want to get O3 over on this side here. So you put 2O3 to give 3O2. Now you want to get rid of the oxygens. 
so that you can leave O3 and O because this is the reactant here O3 and this is the product O. So how about we multiply this by 3? Multiplying this by 3 would give us a new equation 3O2 and 6O and then we could cancel these oxygens and we would end up with a new equation 2O3 which is left here gives 6O and that is very much in line with this but if you notice this is twice as much as this. So we've arrived at the answer. Now we just need to do some maths to arrive at the final number. And we multiplied this by 3. This here was multiplied by 3. So that total is 1494. And this one here, 203, that was reversed. So that's minus 284. Taking the sum of these two comes to 1, 2, 1, 0. But then remembering that this is half of this, we've got to divide by 2. And again it confirms the answer is D, 605.